Welcome back to the sweatshop boys and girls. Today we're going to be telling you about why this battery is bad and needs to be replaced even though it has good voltage and cranking amps. So what is all this here? It is basically hydrogen and acidic fumes that are coming out of the battery. It's reacting with the atmosphere causing this sort of mushy stuff. The issue is specifically that you have a leak from the battery. So the gases are allowed to escape and this is the situation that it causes. Now, what is the potential for danger? Hydrogen is quite explosive and is something that can really <laughs> be dangerous. If you go to boost your vehicle and there is hydrogen coming out of there and it creates a spark, this will blow up and the acid that is in the battery will go everywhere. It is a really extremely dangerous potential situation that you have to be very cautious about. If you're not someone who is cautious about this sort of stuff or doesn't really know what they're doing, it is something that is better to get some help with because the effects of a battery explosion are disastrous and could potentially kill you. So please heed the warning. Now, even with the battery in this appearance, it does have 12.4 volts, which indicates that it is still really good. The cranking amperage on the battery is quite good as well. In terms of functionality, there is absolutely nothing wrong with this battery. But with the hydrogen and acidic fumes leaking out of the battery causing this situation, the only real good solution here is to replace that battery. But you're still going to have some of this residue on your terminal. So how do you get rid of it? What you can do is take a solution of baking soda and water, dunk the terminal in a cup with that solution and it will chew away at all that acidity, which is a good thing. Now you can also do that with the battery to make it look prettier, but keep in mind if the gases can escape, that means that you can also get stuff into the battery. And if you're putting something that neutralizes acid into the battery, and it gets in there, you're going to kill the battery. So just replace it. That is the best thing to do. When you do replace it, make sure these terminals are nice and clean before you put them back onto the new battery. You can spray some grease or some battery terminal lubricant or whatever they may have at your local parts store just to keep the terminals from potentially rotting like this from the acid. What causes this situation? Two things a overcharging alternator or time. These batteries don't last forever. There's not much you can do about this situation. It will come up eventually. So this one's from 2014. It is now 2021. So the customer's definitely got his money's worth out of this battery. As for the charging system, majority of cars out there operate between 13.5 volts and 14.5 volts. If it's anything higher than that, it potentially could be a bad alternator or a bad connection. Test the voltage at the battery when you replace it, just to make sure if you're capable of doing that sort of stuff. Now, if you have to deal with a situation like this, even if you're boosting it or trying to fix it at home, make sure you wear gloves. Don't get that corrosion on your hand. It is nasty stuff. And if you're smelling it, uh, it usually smells like rotten eggs or a high sulfur smell. Wear a mask and try not to expose your lungs to that stuff for very long. It will make you sick. Now, if you have to boost your vehicle because your battery has let you down, it is imperative to know how to do it properly. Most importantly, when you're doing it with jumper cables, make sure that the other end is not connected to a battery. The first thing you want to do is to take the positive terminal while the cable is not connected to any live source, connect the positive terminal first. When you connect the positive terminal, what you want to do is make sure that it is on there securely. Wiggle it on there like that just to make sure that the teeth on the actual clamp bite. That way you know potentially that there is a good connection. Then take your negative cable and find any ground source, which is just a piece of metal, anywhere on the engine. Wiggle it the same way and then connect the other end to a live source. If you're going to do it with a jumper pack, there should be an on off switch. Make sure that it is in the off position. Connect your positive terminal first with it in the off position, then connect your negative and then turn it on and you should be good to go. If you 
try to start it and there is a spark that you see from this area disconnect the other battery wiggle this again to make sure that you're getting a good connection ideally if there is another positive terminal like on some german cars where you can access it to boost your vehicle that's where you want to go first but the majority of cars that are older and not european have this sort of setup so you have no choice but to go to the terminal so just be safe good luck out there and hopefully this helps you so if you've got to help somebody out there by giving them a boost or you've got to do this yourself hopefully you see this video and it keeps you safe please be careful when doing this sort of thing it is sometimes overlooked and something that appears to be quite simple but is quite dangerous hopefully you learned something from this video if you did please like share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my new videos good luck out there we'll see you in the next one it's a good indicator that the battery is on its way out that's not dangerous at all jimmy now what makes this thing what can cause a huge bang because hydrogen is much more explosive than gasoline or anything that I know of. So, yeah. And the acid, did... <laughs> what you can do is take a solution of baking soda and water and let it sit, let the terminal sit in the bat. What the f What? Grease or battery terminal grease or you've also got, as for the charging system, um, as for the charging system, they operate normal, what? Generally, it's usually a bad alternator. So anywhere on the engine that is exposed to metal, any live, live source, while the can... Now, if you have to fix this situation yourself, the best thing I can tell you to do is wear a mask. What? That's not a mask, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, God. I'm losing my mind. Oh. Is an on-off switch. There should be on your jumper pack. But the majority of cars have no choice. But the majority of cars that are older and like... Hopefully this video helped you out there. If you like it, please... What? Hopefully you learned something from this video. If you did... Why do I sound Australian or something there? What the fuck was that? As for the charging system, normally majority of cars on the market out there... Uh, what the fuck, Jimmy? Stop rambling. God damn it.